Hello and welcome to Mapping Key Gaming. My name is Emmanuel. Today we are doing an unboxing on Mole Peak. Now, as you can see, Mole Peak here. I just got it. I opened up the box and uh, it was wrapped in all this bubble wrap. So let's get that out of the way. Cool. Now, I was so, so, so super excited when I saw this. Okay. I'm a huge fan of Skull Hollow, and when I saw that they came out with a new version of it, with new characters, a new way to fight, different monsters, I was 100% on board. So I did get this off a of Kickstarter, and so it did come with the Ancient Relics mini expansion here, and then I also got the World of Boar. So I'm not exactly sure uh, how this here works. I think he is like a little mini campaign that you do. He's It's a one player, 15 minute for ages 12 and up. That's this little expansion right here. And then the big game here, which is by pencils first. Okay. And then we have the people that worked on it right there. You know, we have uh, Eduardo Braff there, Dustin Faust and Keith Mateco right there. So let's see here. Oh, it does show me here that it is a two player game that plays approximately 40 minutes and is for ages 12 and up. And here we are. And as you can see here, we have Squawk Hollow. It's a sequel. It's cross compatible and you can get up to three to four players there. Okay, that's cool. And it has won a bunch of awards. A really, really, really cool kind of system here. An asymmetric game of combat between the Ancient Guardians and the Grizzle, Grizzer, Grizzar of boar okay cool we have amazing meeples here we have climb the guardian's body well yeah so that'll make sense when we actually uh crack it open and get into it and uh what am i waiting for let's do it all right so here we have more peak Okay, so here we have the Mall Peak. Wow. Instruction book. Super, super, super colorful. So let's uh, see what we have in here. Here we have the threat from below. So here's a little story. I don't know, it's a map of some place. Here we have the objective and then the components that come on the inside here. And then we have the four different guardians there. That's pretty cool. The game setup. And this is what I like. We have the game setup here. We have numbers coinciding with the setup. And then here in the book, we have what it's supposed to look like and letters and numbers to help figure out the way how it's supposed to look. This is awesome how to play the cleanup phase excellent excellent this looks really 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 cool really good oh wow look at that okay so okay here let's just get past the uh, okay the end game stuff okay here are the hero abilities because the heroes play differently from one another as you're controlling them. And then um, here we have uh, the winter beasts. Cool. And then the guardian characteristics. So each guardian plays different from one another. And so here we have uh, this dude here. We've got this guy here this one here and then this one here is actually two of them that play together as one and then here we just have some credits awesome and now here we have a little advertisement for pencils first which they do herbaceous that's herbaceous sprouts down there uh, floriferous I really like that game that one's a lot of fun uh, let's see here we have uh, some other games here they did make some Hanafuda decks 
So if you're interested in uh, something like that, they do have those. And then they make smaller versions of their nature games, which was kind of interesting. Which, these games are small already, so for them to make them even smaller, I was like, okay. And, uh, let's see here. Cool, so that's the advertisement for them. Then this here, okay, combining the games. So this is an instruction on how you're supposed to uh, mix and match them. That's pretty cool. Because you can play the Foxen in the other game, and then this is the Grizzor in this one. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Additional rules. Other player counts. How to expand it out. Cool. Oh, now what's this? Oh, it's some kind of a cave with creatures coming out of it. Exciting. And now here. What is this? Okay, so this is a map. Major battle. What? Okay, Skull Hollow. Maybe we're looking at future games here? Future expansions? Hmm. Looks like we have a little bit of a story here. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, and then here, I don't know if you can see this board here. There's a cool looking face over here. There's a tower here. Some kind of a building and some structures here and then a rope bridge. Okay, and then this is it segmented off. Hmm. Oh, okay, here's the big guy. So the way how it works is your character, okay, so you're going to play either as the Guardian, which is this guy here, or you play as the Grizzer, who are um, little uh, characters, and then as they move about the board, they can um, mount on top of the Guardian and then attack the different locations, which that's pretty cool. And then this is him without the uh, things. All right, so he's looking cool. And then here's a spider monster, or spider guardian, I should say. Let's try to get these guys out here. And the same thing here. His plain art on that side there, and then him with his uh, health uh, locations. And then these are the spots where you would mount him. Cool. And here we have like a hydra. And then here's the two, the, I don't know, three-headed Cerberus kind of guy, and then, cool. And now here we have, okay, here, these are the guardian boards. Take a look here. Saboso. Ooh. And so I think each guy has his own, yeah. And then there's the one for the Grizzor. And then each one gets their own mini deck. Here we have... We have some bones and... I don't know what those are supposed to be. Chicken wings? I don't know. <laughs> but those are nice size there. And then here we have some uh, heart trackers. Here's a blue and a red one there. And they're made out of wood. And then here we have some uh, orange cubes. Which are very cuby. So each one gets their own tuck box. Let's see here. And then in the tuck box, we have 
Ooh. We have their own cards. We have some red cubes there. And then we have their little meeples with a little dude right there. Cool. I don't know if you can see each one has like a different symbol on them. There you go. This guy has a hammer. He has like a mask. Um, I don't know. Maybe he has an upset stomach. I don't know. But anyway, those are those guys. This is really nice that each that each uh, guy here gets his own tuck box with his own set of cards. All of his pieces are all together. So it doesn't matter who you're playing as. Everything is already organized and ready to go. And oh wow, look at this guy. So yeah, those are his cards there. And then here we have their giant meeples. And there we go. So that looks to be everything for Mole Peak from Pencils First. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe as I'm a small channel and I can use all the help I can get. I'm currently in the middle of changing my setup here. So once we get that all figured out, I am looking for a way to uh, get this played and give videos out on it. It looks really, really cool. Like I said, I'm a big fan of uh, the original. I can't wait to get this played. So until next time, beware the cold.